Hi everyone, my name is Tracy and I'll be explaining the differences between continuous variables and categorical variables, which are also called discrete variables. We'll first start out with continuous variables. Now these variables are ones that take on numeric values that can be ordered in a sequential way, but they don't fall into categories. So for example, we can talk about age or weight. We've often heard of smaller children saying, hi, I'm five and a half, or five and three quarters, or five and five six even. So just as another way to show that visually, if I were to plot a continuous variable, I could plot it in a straight continuous line with no breaks. Now to complicate the explanation of continuous variables some more, continuous variables can be split into interval variables or ratio variables. With intervals, the order is ranked and the spacing between the orders have equal intervals. However, it's important to note that with intervals, there's no meaningful zero starting point. As an example of that, we can talk about SAT scores. It's not possible to get a, a meaningful zero score. So if you got a zero score on the SAT, that doesn't mean anything. The lowest score would be a 200. Now the same thing goes with Celsius. There's no meaningful zero for Celsius because at zero degrees Celsius, that does not mean the absence of all heat. That would be Kelvin, right? Now let's move on to ratio variables. Ratio variables are variables that occur at equal intervals. And it's important to note that with ratio variables, there is a meaningful zero starting point. For example, prices, you can have something that is zero dollars and it is meaningful. Now, when I talk about equal intervals, I mean that the difference between $1 to $2 is $1. And the difference between 50 to $51 is $1. So all of these prices will occur at the same intervals. Now let's go on to categorical variables. Categorical variables are also called discrete variables. These variables have their values in different categories. So, for example, let's talk about types of insurance. For medical insurance, do you have Kaiser or do you have Cigna? Now, again, to complicate things further, categorical variables can be broken down into the subcategories nominal versus ordinal variables. Now for nominal variables, they're unranked classifications. So for example, marital status, you can either be divorced or single or married. Now it's unranked because if you have asked people to say their marital status, how can you say that one is better than the other or how can you rank them? You can't. So that's what we would call a nominal classification, unranked classification. Another example is a zip code. If you live in a zip code 12345, how can you rank that above a zip code of 23456? Now, different nominal variables can include dichotomous variables. Now, these are nominal variables that only have two categories, yes or no, di meaning two. Now, a uh, another example of a dichotomous variable would be a dummy variable. Now, these variables are indicator numbers that are used in analyses that to represent a categorical value, usually used in regression analysis. So the dummy variable would be either zero or one, and that can indicate something like male versus female. 
Now, another type of categorical variable would be an ordinal variable. Now, these are in categories that are ranked. However, the spacing between the values are not in equal intervals. Like, for example, education level. Now, the, if we talk about education level, we can think of examples like elementary school level versus middle school level, high school level, or graduate school level. Now, if you take the difference between the education levels of elementary school and middle school, that doesn't have an equal interval to the difference in education between high school and graduate school. So what you would learn is a lot different and a lot more between high school and graduate school versus elementary school and middle school. So that's why it's considered an ordinal variable because they are ranked. One is higher than the other or one is lower than the other. However, the spacing does not occur in an equal interval. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and comment below. Thank you so much for watching.